Hello, my friends. Professor here, discussing ideas about the oncoming New World Order. Let's get right to it, shall we? So we're talking about, I was watching a few videos out there, Lisa something or other, Lisa in the heaven, and another, many, many videos about the New World Order. What this would provide for society. I remember in the white place where I used to be. This is a similarity of the whole infrastructure, the development of it. It would have to be programmed in a formula where everybody could contribute with the same platform for society to function properly. What we used to do was you would write something down on the table and it would have to fit in that precise market. For instance, if you had your glasses or a pair of scissors, you had to write a line around it and set it on the table. If that thing slipped off because you were cleaning the floor, sweeping, bump the table, if that thing came off the line, you were written up. That's just the way it was in the workplace. And somebody could easily rat you out by bumping the table after you left. And then you would still get written up the next day. We need to find a way to unify this plan. Although every country in the world has a reason why they do it. For climate reasons, health reasons, food reasons, whether farming is available or not, which would have to have all the shipping ideas and programs on the same form, whether they flew them in or they shipped them in, which would depend on weather, variations by manipulations of mankind. So many things, so many things. But we need to unify everyone. Otherwise, it's going to be a disaster as it's turned into be already. What we need is a contribution through the manipulation of regulations and votations by special expert officials. When we can get this all lined up and have the New World Order, the United Unions of Congressional Authorities come together, make an even playing ground for all of us. Then we can have a standard to go by. Excuse me. And it should all just run smoothly. Another thing will be efficiency. Efficiency in everything will cause, for instance, your glasses. We will all vote on what color glasses to get. That way, when you make glasses, you all have one style, one shape. You could wear a shirt like this, but everybody be wearing a shirt like this because it's less confusion and efficient. Could you imagine how much faster we can make clothing for you if it all looked like this? Now, you wouldn't all have to have a beard, but if you did and it got over three and a half inches, you would be forced to wear a pink rubber band with the pink glasses. Well, we'll decide. It may be all blue. I don't know. But we're going to need a top kingpin to get this thing all running for. There's got to be one man to do this. No, no, no. It's not Satan, folks. You see, you humans are too stupid on your own to need a Satan. But you can call him Satan if you want. So what, who, what, I have a few ideas. Does anybody know if somebody can help get this new world order started? I think I can do it. Huh? Come on down, come on down, explain this. I think I can do it, run it. I've been doing fine as it is right now. Yeah, well, uh, seems like it could be an idea. We'd have to vote you in, though. That's right. Simply vote me in, that's all. I mean, everybody has seen my face for a while. Taking care of the youngsters, next generation will be coming up just fine. 
See, it's like a good idea. Here, hold on, there, buddy. Let me think. <laughs> so we have this uh, few fellows in line here. We have, uh, where's that other guy we had? He's not here today. He's not here today. Ah, I don't have time to find him. Just have to pick me in and spat on his neck. All right, yeah, we're just going to have to work it out. So the program is going to be a one-size-fits-all, no matter what country, how big or small. And, uh, yeah. Now, your religions. Religions will be... Gonna have to do worship one God. That's what everybody wants. And uh, who will that God be? Ah... Uh, I figured that out. I got some ideas. <laughs> I'm sure you do. This is a little taste of the... It's just a conspiracy. It's just a conspiracy. Remember, people, modern day Moseses in disguise right before your very eyes, they're going to program it. Why does the professor say this? Because if you read all your scriptures, I don't care what religion they come from. They've been programming you since the beginning of each one of them. That is the one-eyed farmers in religion, politics, and education. So cold. Oh, and did I mention business monopolies? <laughs>